dear students we will glance through the topic of stroke and hemiplegia in a minute what is hemiplegia weakness of one side of the body is called hemiplegia it's a very common neurological deficit most frequently it develops acutely after a stroke which may be stroke can be of two types it could be an ischemic stroke or a hemorrhagic stroke Hemiplegia, the site of lesion is usually the contralateral pyramidal tract. Pyramidal tract is also known as corticospinal tract. It arises from the cortex and comes down through the internal capsule to the opposite side of the body. There are two types of stroke. 85% of all strokes are ischemic strokes, which could be thrombosis or embolism. Hemorrhagic strokes are 15%, which could be an intraparenchymal hemorrhage or a subarachnoid hemorrhage. The main findings on examination in a case of hemiplegia are if it is acute onset, initial phase, it will be a phase of neuronal shock where the patient will have hypotonia, hyporeflexia and extensor plantar response. So that is the initial phase. UMN we actually expect the reverse, hypertonia and hyperreflexia. But in the neuronal shock phase, it is hypotonia and hyporeflexia. After variable periods of time, patients will slowly develop, maybe after days or weeks, they may develop spasticity, hyperreflexia, extensor planta, and a hemiplegic circumduction gait. And the most important initial investigations in stroke are a blood sugar, ECG, and a CT brain. And treatment of ischemic stroke, the most important treatment or the treatment of choice in an ischemic stroke is an intravenous thrombolysis. But the intravenous thrombolysis can be done only within the four, first 4.5 hours and this is called as the window period. And the most important drug used for thrombolysis is the recombinant tissue plasminogen activator with a dose of 0.9 milligram per kilogram it is given as an IV infusion over one hour and this RTPA is given in normal saline and this is the management of ischemic stroke but in hemorrhagic stroke antiplatelet drugs and thrombolytic drugs are absolutely contraindicated there we manage with anti-cerebral edema measures anti-hypertensives and sometimes you will have to go for surgery. So, surgery is indicated in selected patients like in a cerebellar stroke. Anti-cerebral edema measures commonly used are mannitol, glycerin and diuretics. So, this is in nutshell about stroke.